Right, hello everybody and welcome down to North Wales Golf Club where we are shooting another video for you today and we are talking brand new golf clubs. When should you buy them and when shouldn't you buy them more importantly? Let's get into the video and take a look at it. So recently I got a full set of brand new clubs, thankfully you two, you guys watching really, I got to shoot some videos and make, make some informative content about new golf clubs. And that got me thinking, when, when should you get new golf clubs? Because sometimes I see people buying them for the wrong reasons. There's lots of reasons to get new golf clubs, but I'm gonna give you three reasons why you should get new golf clubs and one reason why you shouldn't get new golf clubs. So let's take a look at that first reason as to why you should get some new golf clubs. We're gonna play um, the 18th hole here at North Wales and just talk you through these, these reasons as we go through. So gorgeous little, uh, little par four here, the 18th, 297. We've got Rescue Club out here and that is the first reason as to why you should get new golf clubs. You might need golf clubs to fill a gap in your bag. Lots of times people have come to me for lessons and I see that their sets go driver, three wood, five iron. So they're left with a huge gap. It might be that you also go pitching wedge, sand wedge, and no lob wedge, and you're starting to play more courses where you need a new club. So one of the main reasons is necessity, you need that club to make it fill out your set. You get 14 clubs in a golf bag, maybe you're only carrying 12 at the moment, and there might be a gap there that you haven't touched upon. It could be because you bought a package start um, set when you started out that only had 12 clubs in it. It might be that you got some hand-me-down clubs or whenever you bought your clubs or whatever it may be, you've left this gap in there and you're now finding that when you're out on the golf course, because of the skill set that you've acquired through your practice and playing time, you now need something that will help you elevate those skills. So that first reason I think that you should go and get new golf clubs is because it's a necessity to your bag setup to help you actually achieve what you're trying to do out on the golf course. For me, I actually got this rescue club because I went driver, three wood, and then I went down to a four iron. So I didn't have anything in that gap of about 230. My four iron was going 220, then my three wood would go about 250. So I never had that gap there, and it was either hit a massive four iron, which wasn't great, you know, or I would try and hit a little three wood, wasn't really doing the job. So putting something in place to fill a gap is reason number one as to why you should buy new golf clubs. Let's give this a little rip. And there we go, that should fly about 40 yards short of the green. Ooh, with a big bounce. Who knows, it might actually get there that one it nearly has fantastic okay so the second reason why you might be buying new golf clubs it's all to do with skill set you might have been someone who was given your grandfather's old clubs during um, the break between the first lockdown you took up the game and you were given some hand-me-down clubs you've now got into the game and you found out that those wooden woods that you were given and those 70 year old blades probably aren't going to be best matched to your skill set you might also be someone who's been playing for five or six years you've got better at the game and you now think well do you know what those beginner clubs that i started out those real game improvement clubs aren't giving me the best for my ability level that I've now got to. So the second reason I think you should be buying new golf clubs is actually to match your skill set. It might be that, like for instance myself now, because of the lofts of new golf clubs, I've changed my wedges just because I had a 52 and a 58 in a pitching wedge, as where well. now I've gone 50, 54, 58. I feel I'm versatile enough to use those three wedges instead of just having my two original wedges. So I've upgraded to match my skill set because I'm comfortable with my wedge game. I know that I can make them work as where in the past, I wasn't that confident of having that many wedges. So I just thought I'll just do it with one or two, that'll do, but I'm confident in myself now. So reason number two is 
do you need to upgrade for your skill set? Have you got better at the game? It might be that you need a little bit more help with your driver as well. It might be, and I see this a lot as well. People who go onto eBay or Amazon when they're just looking to buy a driver and they end up just buying over oh, TaylorMade because they think that's a good name and they turn up with a nine and a half degree extra stiff shaft when they're someone who's off a 18, 20 high handicap, whatever it may be, or a new beginner and that driver isn't really gonna be to your skill set. So it might be that you go down to a regular driver with a bit more loft, but buying a club to actually benefit and enhance your skill set is reason number two as to why you should be buying new golf clubs. Let's just hit uh, one of these new 54 degree wedges in, see if we can get this nice and close. We've got 110. Let's give it a little ripski. Okay, reason number three, and I think this one nowadays is almost frowned upon. It seemed as wrongdoing in the golf industry or especially between some people, you know, some of your peers when you do play golf. And that is buying golf clubs simply because you want to go and buy new golf clubs. There is nothing wrong with that. If you've got the funds to do so, and that's how you enjoy spending your money, great, go and do it. What I would say is that if you're gonna go and do that, don't expect that paying all that money is gonna change all your problems as you go out there. It's not all of a sudden gonna make you, you know, have a magic wand waved over you and become the greatest golfer ever. But if you simply like the look of a new putter every now and again, if you feel that every three to four months you want to get a new putter or that, you know, collecting Scotty Camerons are your thing or when you see a new driver come out, you have to have that new driver. It's only like someone spending money on a Lamborghini or getting a new iPhone or buying a certain designer range of clothes. If that is what you enjoy doing and you understand that you've got the funds to do it and it doesn't you know cause, cause any infliction in your life in any other way great go and buy new golf clubs it doesn't have to be an issue that can be something where like i say it's almost frowned upon a little bit too much but the caveat like i say is don't expect that magic one to be waved over you because that is the reason number one reason why i would say not to buy new golf clubs if i had this shot here now and i were to do something like this Oh dear, do you know what? I'll just go and get a new wedge. That'll that'll sort me uh, sort me duffing out. That'll stop me being um, a bad wedge player as I go through it, and then I'm faced with the same shot again because I've got my new wedge. All of a sudden, we're not going to see that you start chipping it like so and actually hitting really good pitch shots. Don't buy clubs to fix a problem. Go and fix the problem. If you're a slicer of the golf ball physically the way physics works with the golf swing it can't alter it it can't alter it to fix it to make it into a perfect little draw there's still going to be elements of you coming out to in there's still going to be elements of the face open whatever your problem is like duffing a wedge it might be that you're struggling with your putter find out actually what the root cause is and then solve that problem. It might be that you need to buy a club that will help you, but don't just buy it and expect that with no work on the game that you're gonna become a better golfer. Actually put some time into your game, maybe spend it on uh, a little bit of money on some lessons to find out why that fault keeps occurring. And then once you've fixed it, maybe then upgrade your golf clubs. But like I say, just a small video there for you guys to understand three reasons why we probably should be buying new golf clubs and then one big reason why we shouldn't be doing it. If you're spending your money like this and you're using this guide, hopefully that'll help you make some informed decisions next time you're thinking of buying any new golf clubs. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video this week. If you have, do remember to hit that subscribe button down below, turn on the bell notification, and I'll see you in another lesson very soon.